Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to explain flip-flops. The first flip-flop is SR flip-flop. As the name itself says, SR are the two inputs here. And we provide a clock signal as input for the flip-flops. And flip-flops are going to operate with positive edge of the clock or negative edge of the clock. Here in my explanation, I am considering the flip-flop is working in positive edge of the clock. So the representation of clock will be a arrow going upwards. That is the indication of positive edge triggering flip-flop. So when S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 0, SR flip-flop will give the output Q and Q bar as it is compared to the previous state. Means the output of Q will be holding its state and Q bar will be holding its state. The previous value of Q is 0 and Q bar is 1. It is holding the same value when we are giving 0, 0 as inputs. When S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0, Q will be set to 1. So we say S is 1 and R is 0, the output will be set to 1 because of S. And when S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1, the output will be reset to 0 because of R is 1. And S, is, S and R are 1, 1. Bo if both the inputs are 1 and 1, the output of SR flip-flop will be an intermediate state means the output will not be 0 nor 1 the output will be fluctuating in between 0 and 1 that's why we say this state is intermediate state we are going to represent that with z this is the truth table of sr flip-flop now let us see d flip-flop the circuit of the d flip-flop is just the modification of sr flip-flop you can observe the previous circuit S yes is given to this particular gate and R input is given to the second gate. Here in the D flip-flop, to convert this SR flip-flop into D flip-flop, we just treating the two inputs as one and the other input for the gate will be an inverted input. So the same SR flip-flop circuit can be converted into D flip-flop like this. Here D is the single input and clock will be same as I said in the previous case. When clock is at the positive edge of the clock, D is equal to 0, output Q becomes 0. And when D is 1, output will be 1. Means the output of this flip-flop, Q is following D. If D is 0, Q becomes 0. If D is 1, Q becomes 1. And the next flip-flop is JK flip-flop. This is again a modified circuit of SR flip-flop. The Q bar input will be given to this gate means Q bar will be the feedback given to the first gate and Q is the feedback we are taking to the second gate. This becomes JK flip-flop. Now let us see the working of JK flip-flop. Again this flip-flop will be working for the positive edge of the clock. When clock at the positive edge, if J is 0 and K is 0, output of the flip-flop will be Q and Q bar means no change or we say hold or the previous state will be holded. When j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0, the output q is 1 and q bar is 0. So these two cases are same as SR flip-flop. When j is 0 and k is 1, again q is 0 and q bar is 1, this is also same as SR flip-flop. The only difference between the SR and JK flip-flop is when, when we are giving the input 1, 1. When 1, 1 is the input given here in JK flip-flop, the output will be toggled means a continuous 1 1 is given for the next clock cycles the input output becomes toggle from 1 to 0 0 to 1 like that that we say as a toggle state next we have t flip-flop this t flip-flop is the modified version of jk flip-flop if j and k are connected together it becomes t flip-flop so in t flip-flop we can relate the working of this with respect to jk flip-flop since the inputs are directly connected, if the 0, 0 input of JK flip-flop can be related to T0. As we say, the output will be holded. And when T is equal to 1, it will be related to 1, 1 in JK flip-flop. It is giving the output toggle state. Similarly, here also we are going to get a toggle state. These are the four T flip-flops. It will be very helpful in designing any sequential circuits. Thank you.